Well, hello. This uh, video is intended to be sent out to you on Monday, uh, May the 4th. Um, I'm not sure exactly when you're watching it, but it's Star Wars Day. And for those of you who aren't familiar with the Star Wars uh, franchise, it was uh, a, a science fiction uh, series that involved... Uh, uh, describing reality as a as a spiritual battle between the the dark side and the light side, uh, and for those uh, on the light side, those who favor justice and compassion and care and equality, um, and many other of the the positive virtues, who believe that um, the essence of life flowed through uh, that. Uh, part of reality, uh, they would often uh, greet one another or send each other on their ways with the phrase, may the force be with you. <clears throat> it didn't take uh, the, Star, uh, the Star Wars geeks too long to, uh, to make the transition and use the pun and decide that may the fourth would be Star Wars day. So may the fourth be with you. In this constant uh, trying time, uh, we simply try to figure out what's the best thing to do. What's the best thing to do for you, for your loved one, uh, for the church, for the community, for the state? Uh, I'm sure we don't all agree with the rapidity at which uh, economies are starting to open up. And I'm sure some of us uh, are someone we know never thought Things should have been slowed down to begin with. Uh, uh, some people think we all ought to just be ready to just get out there and take whatever comes, and others of us are perhaps extraordinarily cautious and particularly uh, worried about the potential risk that a, a loved one may, may experience if somehow, God forbid, we bring the virus home to them. So it's hard to know where people are emotionally, mentally, uh, and it's certainly in, in, inappropriate for us to tell you where to be. Uh, I, I, I simply say, may the force be with you. Uh, may God's grace and abundant love and light, uh, may God's uh, faithfulness and vision fill you and warm you and comfort you and guide you in, in your decision making uh, to inspire you to see the best that life has to offer and and to seek the best version of yourself in these dark days and in every day. We'll be keeping you informed about plans for a face-to-face -face worship Despite changes in the governor's current plans as we're moving into stage two, there's still a very direct intention by the governor that everyone 65 and over and anyone who has a particular health risk factor uh, in their life, they should stay home. Uh, and that includes uh, from worship. We're struggling about whether we should open up to face-to-face -to -face and therefore encourage people uh, to get out when maybe they shouldn't. Um, we don't want to open a service and exclude you. Um, we don't want to tell people they should stay home. Um, it, it's, it's a difficult thing to know. So for the time being, we're going to continue offering virtual services. It's what the governor strongly recommends. Uh, and we'll have conversations and explore with you uh, when and how we worship. But when we do gather, it's it's going to look like a science fiction film with uh, masks and separations and uh, a strange environment to get used to. Uh, until that time, uh, we do pray and we do hope that uh, you know the love of God 
powerfully present in your home. May the fourth be with you. We'll talk to you again. Bye-bye.